fully again. Lessons down by the river. <laughs> Broadcast from an apartment in Los Angeles today. So, um, uh, yeah, we're going to do another great song as um, I think it's a great song to learn. Um, it's got a really awesome, very tasteful guitar solo in it, which um, I think was played by Mike Johnson, who you may recognize as the bass player throughout the majority of the 90s for Dinosaur Jr. He was uh, Mark Lanigan's main co-songwriter for all of his sub-pop records. Um, so the solo on the song was either played by him or Ben Shepard from Soundgarden. I can't remember which. Um, they both played on a lot of tracks on this album, but... Mike played on every track on this album. It's called Field Songs. It was a sub pop release. It was, uh, I think, fourth or fifth album or so for Mark Vanagon, but his last proper full length record for sub pop records um, before he departed ship for other labels. And I think that the foreign release was Beggar's Banquet. Anyway, Mark Vanagon, you know from the Streaming Trees, this was uh, done as his, just under his name. But as I said, he was collaborating a lot with Mike Johnson all, all this time. So it was, even though it was his name, it was him and him and Mike, and they have various musician buddies on the record. It's a full band sound. The song is called Don't Forget Me. I guess the fifth track on the record. And I'm going to break down the parts, I guess. So it starts out with this arpeggiated figure of basically a B-flat chord. A B-flat minor chord, which would be like this. Or up here it would sound like this. So, and you're picking each note individually, going low to high, and then back to low again. Or conversely, if you did it over here, it'd be... Sorry. So it's either the first fret of the A string as the root, or the sixth fret of the low E string. And on the recording, it's played by piano. So that's how we start off the uh, the song. And then there's uh, chords utilized throughout the song are basically big full chords, and you're kind of laying into the the low part of the chord, and then doing an or an upstroke usually on the higher part of the chord, not really playing the middle notes of each chord. So, so start after we do that. So we got a B chord there, um, sort of a minor feel. You could put this whole B major. But you're not really hitting this note, so it has more of a minor feel. It's sort of a B power chord figure, but you're barring the whole sixth fret there. So it's down, down, up, down, uh, with sort of a mute on the up. And then down, and then. You hit that upstroke there, but you're actually fretting that, not on mute. Sort of like an old folk kind of sound. So for these chords, just either downstrokes or just an alternate pick. Not as complex as the other strums. So we go from the B uh, flat, sort of minor feel, to the E flat minor, to the uh, just more of a barred, sort of power chordy um, B chord, down to the F chord there. to the B flat. And then that's the main verse, and then next we have the other main riff, which would be So 
so that's just B flat, B flat. back up to the B flat and you'll hear it once I play along the song the exact order. I'm a little funky on that right now without the song. And so the solo is going to be in a few little sections here. So it starts out on this note here. It's all basically based off of a minor scale. Uh, I guess a B flat minor. So, so that's one little section. second lick there, so you can add that embellishment if you want, a little bit of a trill slower And then the fourth part. I'll do that again. And you do kind of a Slowed down. All together. And the song ends the way it began with that arpeggiated figure. So we'll call that part one. I may break down the solo further in another lesson, but this is just to get us on the right framework, right track. All right, thank you. Catch you in a moment. All right, so here we go. Now we're going to play through it. Don't Forget Me by Mark Lanigan off of the Field Songs record. Without further ado, here we go. Oh yeah, in the key of B flat.
So as you can see, that I was the reason. sorry, rather than playing along with your record right now or using this YouTube nonsense as you will be watching this on YouTube probably, um, even though I have this on vinyl. So um, as you can see, you can mess around a lot with this. Once you have it down, you can throw in little embellishments, little uh, extra leady things and, and you can solo over different sections or you could change the solo up if you want. The solo is basically just based off of the, like I said before, the B flat minor scale, which is you probably know just goes like this. And the it's one three four, one three four, one three, one two four, slide up one two four, one three four, and it keeps going higher, of course. And the B flat position on six fret. Thank you for watching, I hope this helped.